you know, I have to say in my career in the military, I have never seen a capability go from a drawing on a napkin to a fielded operational capability in less than two months. For the negative pressure container, there was such a rapid back and forth between the engineering team and the user community that we really had an unprecedented opportunity to to move forward rapidly together and and make sure that not only did we have something that was going to safely contain an infectious disease, but that people could actually work and take care of patients in it as well. What the NPC is trying to do is move those patients that are critical enough to be moved to basically prevent the spread throughout the deployed units and throughout other, other units. So not only is this a across the world problem, but it also could be used for transporting patients here in the United States, back and forth and everywhere else. So this was not designed around a conference room. This was done over the phone. This was done sending emails. This was done over text and Gmail to get this thing designed as rapidly as it did. The first time we actually met each other was um, on 21 April when we all descended at Joint Base Charleston to test the proof of concept. Um, you know, I was there with the team when they when they gave them requirements. You know, we saw the whiteboard drawings for it. And then like, no kidding, 14 days later, I stayed in Charleston the entire time. I was testing, doing the first test of the negative pressure connex. It took medical personnel, it took life scientists, physical scientists, and the gamut of engineers and put them all in one place because the problems that we have to solve nowadays, and COVID is a perfect example, they're complicated problems that require expertise in multiple areas. So when you think of appropriate strategy for infectious disease, you know, it's very clear that the U.S. military has done amazing work with trauma in being able to rapidly move patients from point of injury through the echelons of care to definitive care very rapidly. However, when you take that same model and apply it to infectious disease, it, you actually can make the situation worse. Think about taking infectious patients who are highly contagious and moving them through echelons of care, especially without appropriate engineering controls to, to maintain isolation and without adequate personal protective equipment for the people taking care of them. So without having effective biocontainment transport, we risked not only infecting our medical crews, but our front end flight deck personnel, pilots, air crew, and losing the very airlift we needed to send food, supplies, equipment to where our personnel need them. So it was a, a real privilege to see this come to uh, fruition and uh, I'm very proud to have been part of the project.